me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're gonna play with the produce stand, learn all about fruits and vegetables, counting, addition, do some really fun activities, and even make some yummy snacks. It's gonna be so much fun, come on! See what kind of fruits and vegetables we have at the produce stand. Ooh, do you know this fruit? This is an orange. Mmm, orange is so yummy. You can squeeze it to get orange juice. Let's build a little orange together. Okay, get your arms out and well, build an orange. Build, build an orange. Build an orange. Build, build an orange and squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. Squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. How silly. See what else we've got. Ooh, do you know this fruit? This is an apple. Apple. Apples are so yummy. And you can eat them by themselves. You can cook them up. You can even bake a pie with them. Mmm, pie. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, do you know this fruit? This fruit is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This fruit is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. How fun. With bananas, you can peel them and then eat them. Let's build bananas together. Ready? And we build bananas, build, build bananas, and we peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, and we go bananas, go, go bananas! Yay! How silly! Hop, hop, hop. Oh, look, here comes Bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hello, friends. Hi, Bunny, what's going on? Hello, I came to the produce stand looking for some apples. Ooh, we have some apples. What kind of apples are you looking for, Bunny? Ooh, I have a little recipe. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, Bunny brought over this recipe. Let's look at it together. Here it says you need three red apples and four green apples. How many apples total is that? Well, let's find out. Let's count them together. I'll move these eggs and cheese for now. Let's get our apples together so we can help Bunny. Here's our green ones and our red ones. All right, Bunny. This says you need three red apples. One, two, three. All right. And four green apples. Will you help me count? Ready? One, two, three, and four. Let's see how many apples we have all together. One, two, three, four, plus the three red ones. So we have four, five, six, seven. Three plus four is gonna be seven. Whoa, that's a lot of apples. That's gonna be a really good pie, Bunny. Can I help you put them in the bag? Yeah, all right, let's check out of the cash register. I'll bring it over this way, come on. All right, Bunny, here are all of your apples you got today. Let's cash you out at a cash register. And do you have a bag? I do not have a bag. You know what? I have an extra bag right here that we can put your apples into. Beep, one red apple looks good. Put it in. Beep, another red apple. Let's put it in. And one more red apple. Beep, looks so good. Put it in. Looks like we have four more. And we have one left. Beep, let's put it in. 
bunny. Here you go. Here are all of your apples for your apple pie. Bunny says, thank you so much for helping me. I'm gonna make a really yummy apple pie. Bunny, we're so happy for you. And you know what? I have a really fun apple pie activity that we can play together. Come on. Here's a fun pie activity you can play at home if you ask your grown up for help. We got some green pom-poms and red pom-poms and we're gonna pretend there are apples for the pie. I got some little pie forms and some felt as the crust to put on top of the pie. Let's see, for this recipe, we need, hmm, let's say, three red apples and two green apples. Let's put them in and see how many apples total we have. So first we need three red ones. One, two, three, and two green ones. One, two, oh it's tricky, two. Now let's count all of them and see how many apples total we have. One, two, three, four, five. That's five apples total. Let's put the pie crust on. Bake, bake, bake. Ding, it's ready. This one's for you, enjoy. Let's make another pie together. For this one, let's do four red apples and two green ones. All right, first let's get the four red apples. One, two, three, and four. Oh, I got two. That's so silly. That's tricky. Let me try another pom-pom. Four, and then we need two green ones. One, two. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four apples plus two apples is six apples total. Great job. Now we'll put a pie crust on. Bake, bake, bake. Ding, it's ready. Here's another pie for you to enjoy. Let me keep you this up here. I'll get a basket. All right, what do you think I need? I see three red apples. All right. Let me put this in the basket. One. Two. Two green apples. I see green apples up front. Should I get them or you want to help me? You can get them, buddy. Okay, will you help me count? Yeah. And two. Um, um, no, I should even make an apple pie. That's it, I'm gonna go make my apple pie. Thank you, thank you. Go to the apple pie stand. Here's another fun activity you can play at home to practice some counting. I made some pies with numbers on them and you can print these out at home. Then we can put it in a little bowl. Let's see, let's do one with the number five. Let's bake a pie with five apples. Ready, we'll put in one, two, three, four, five. Here's a yummy pie with five apples. Yum, 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 yum. Let's make another one. Let's make another pie together. And how about we do this one with number eight. Let's count eight pom-poms as our apple, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven. And if we add one more, that'll be eight. Ooh, it's tricky. Eight. We did it. Here's a pie for you. Enjoy. Yum, 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 yum. Pick a pie, any pie, any pie. Which pie would you like? This one. This one is with the number six. So we need six apples, and you can choose red or green, but it needs to be a total of six. Big green. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. You did it. Do you want to make another pie? Yeah. All right, I'll put this one to the side. Pick a pie, any pie. There's also this pie. Oh. One did you like? One? Okay. Ready? You can put it inside. And then how many apples do you need for that pie? One. All right. One red. Bake it up. Put it in this one. Huh? 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 Um, uh, hey, Paisley, what are you up to? I'm just making a pie. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I put this inside, and then I blow, and then I beat, and then and then I can open it up. Oh, look at that pie. Yum, 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 yum. And then take this. Do you think you'd be able to help me make a pie? I think I can. Hey, bunny, pick a pie, pick a pie, pick a pie, pick a pie. Let me pick a pie. How about this one? That's a good one. Okay, how many apples do I need for it? Five. Ooh, will you help me get them? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think we got some extra in there. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. No, we have one, two, three, four, five. There's two extra. They must have just fallen in on an accident. No, we have one, two, three, four, five. That's right. Okay. Oh, let's bake it together. Bake it. Here we go. That looks like such a good pie. Thank you for helping me bake it. Here comes Penguin. Waddle, 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 waddle. Hi, friends. Hi, Penguin. What's going on? I came to the produce stand to get some ingredients for a yummy recipe. What are you going to make, Penguin? I'm going to make some yummy egg bites. Ooh, that sounds good. What do you need? I have a recipe. Let me get it. Here are all the things that I need. Okay, let's take a look. It looks like you need four eggs, one cheese, three mushrooms, and are you looking for some greens? Yeah, do you have any spinach or lettuce? Oh, we do have some lettuce. Okay, I will take that. All right, let's help our friend Penguin get all of the ingredients he needs for his recipe. Let's see, let's grab a basket. And first it says we need four eggs. Let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. Next, your recipe says you need one cheese. Would you like this cheese or this larger piece of cheese? Penguin says, I'll take the smaller one. All right, we'll put it in. Next, you need three mushrooms. Let's go get them, come on. Let's see, Penguin needs three mushrooms. Do you see the mushrooms? <gasps> right here, we needed three. Let's count them. One, in, two, let's put it in, and three. Penguin also said he needed something green like lettuce or spinach. Let's see, do you see the lettuce? Yeah, right here. Let's put it in. All right, I think we got everything. All right, Penguin, I think we got everything on your list. Let's cash you out. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. 
Oh, do you have a bag? I do not have a bag. You know what? We have one for you. Let's see, we'll scan the lettuce. Beep! It looks so good. I'll put it in. And, ooh, the cheese. Beep! We'll put it in. Oh, we've got four eggs. One, two, three, four. Let's put them all in the bag. And one, two, three mushrooms. Beep, beep, beep. Let's put them in. All right, Penguin, you're all set. Enjoy cooking your little egg bites. Thank you so much, friends. And you know what? I have a really fun recipe for some egg muffin bites that we can do together. And if you ask your grown-up for help, you can make them at home. Come on. Here's a fun snack you can make at home and all you need is eggs, a muffin pan, and vegetables or toppings that you like in your eggs. And all we're gonna do is break the eggs into a bowl, mix them up, we're gonna add them to the muffin pan, and then we'll sprinkle in the different toppings and make little egg muffins. Then these you can eat when they're ready, you can put them in the fridge for later, or even freeze them, and then unpack them when you're ready to snack again. Let's make them together. First, we'll crack some eggs. Crack, 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 crack. If you wanted to make it a little creamier, you can add a little milk or a little cheese in here and mix it all up and then use that to pour into the muffin pans. Hey Paisley, you wanna help me make these? Hello. <gasps> crack, crack, crack your eggs, crack your eggs with me. Crack them faster, crack them slow. That's a good one. Ooh, it's coming. Oh, let me get a little shell. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah. I'm it. Trot. And then. Pop, pop, pop. Yay! Pop, pop. Let's crack this. Now we just need to salt it. You want to salt it? No. I'll do it. You want to whisk it? Yeah. Here's your whisk. How do I get with my whiskers? <gasps> whisk my whiskers. All right, you mix that. I'm gonna use some spray so our eggs don't stick to the muffin pan. Muffin pan. There's that shell. How long is the egg? We're gonna take a little bit and pour it in each one of the muffin pans. A little in here. Ooh, that was too much. I gotta take some out. You wanna fill it about halfway because in the oven as it gets hot, it's gonna expand. That means get a little bit bigger. So then I think it'll start taking up all the space. When we split this one. We do need to split that one, good thinking. I'm scooping back eggs. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. For our toppings, we have mushrooms, cheese, tomatoes, <laughs> spinach, and even onion, so you can put Cheese in all of them. I love cheese. Go ahead. I'm gonna sprinkle a little spinach. Oh, maybe yeah. spinach tomato. That's gonna be very cheesy, very yummy. Oh yeah. And then the mushroom. Oh yeah, I'm excited. All of these could be mushroom. Oh, look at all this. Sprinkle it all in, girl. And they're gonna be little egg muffins. And you know what we can do with these? Yeah. We can eat them right away. Then we can put them in the fridge or even the freezer. I'm gonna add a little onions to here. You think that's gonna be good? Yeah. I think so too. You wanna put these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till you see them filling up and becoming yellow at 350 and then they'll be ready. So let's put them in. And then what should we do? Set a timer? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. 
Now we just gotta wait. Let's clean up while we wait. Wow, look at these. Oh, whoa, they look so good. They're hot. So I'm wearing my mitten, my oven mitten. We'll wait for these to cool off and then we can enjoy them. This one maybe I'm gonna test. Okay, you're gonna test that one? Yeah. I think it's gonna be so good. You know what you could do? Yeah. You can cut it with a butter knife. Yeah. You wanna cut? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. With a kid's butter knife. You can do it. <laughs> And these you can eat by yourself, by themselves, or you can do a little ketchup. And again, you can eat them right away, or put them in the fridge, or put them in your freezer. This is me yours. Thank you so much. This is yours also. That one's so cheesy. That one's for you. Thank you. Here's a little bite you can try. Yeah. And a little bite I will try. What do you think? Good. You think it's good? I have a muffin that we brought to a cabin. Wow, here comes wild chicken. Hey chicken, what's going on? Hi friends, I'm also gonna make some pies. Ooh, that sounds good. What are you looking for today? I'm looking for some strawberries. Ooh, we have those. Let me get you a basket. How many are you looking for? I'm looking for 12. Whoa, that's many. I'll put you right over here. Will you help me count out 12 strawberries? Let's do it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, wow, thank you for helping me count. Chicken, here are your twelve strawberries. How many pies are you gonna make? I'm gonna make four pies. Oh, wow, that's gonna be so good. How many strawberries are you gonna put in each one? I don't know. Well, we can help you. Let's help chicken divide the strawberries into the pies to see how many strawberries we'll have in each one. Come on. Let's help our friend chicken divide the strawberries into the pies. Chicken said it wanted 12 strawberries and to make four pies. First, let's count the strawberries again. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, chicken has four pies. Let's see how many strawberries we can put into each one. We'll start with putting one strawberry in each pie. One in here, one in here, one in here, one in here. We still have some more strawberries left. Let's see. Let's add one more in each. One in here, one in here, one in here, and one in here. Now each pie has two strawberries and we still have four strawberries left. Let's put each strawberry in each of the pies. One. Two, three, and four. And look at that. We put all of our 12 strawberries into the four pies. And then made each pie have three strawberries. This pie has three. This pie has three. This pie has three strawberries. And this pie now has three strawberries. Thank you for helping me divide the 12 strawberries into the four pies. Thank you for helping me. 
Here comes Teddy Bear. Hello. Hi, Teddy Bear. What's going on? I wanted to make some pizza today. Ooh, that sounds so good. What do you need from the produce stand? I think I need some tomatoes for the sauce and some cheese. Oh, we have some of that. Here, let me grab the tomatoes. Oh, let me get you a basket. And what kind of tomatoes were you looking for? I need three big tomatoes. Okay, let's count them together. One, two, three. And what else do you need? Let's put these back. I also need some cheese. Oh, how about this big cheese that you can shred, shred, shred on your pizza? That sounds good. All right, let's put it in. Oh, pizza sounds so good. Let's do a fun little pizza activity together, and then we'll make a pizza snack together as well. Come on, let's do a really fun pizza activity that you can do at home if you cut out a circle for the pizza, and then we'll use a glue stick as our sauce, and some cut up pieces of paper as the cheese that we're gonna put on. Let's do it together. We'll grab some sauce, put it on our pizza, and I'll use our glue stick to put the sauce all around, all around. This is gonna be yummy, yummy pizza. Then, now that the sauce is on, we'll spread the cheese, ready? Spread, spread, spread the cheese all around. Spread, spread the cheese. Wow, this looks like a really good pizza. All right. And now, well, we just have to cut this pizza in some pieces. Right now, we have one whole pizza. One pizza. If we divide it in half, we'll have two pieces. Let's cut it together. When we cut it in half, we have two pieces. When we cut it in half, we have two pieces. And when we hold one of the pieces, we have one out of the two pieces. One out of the two pieces is the half. If we cut it again, let's see what we get. When we cut it again, this way, now we got half of a half or quarters. A half of a half is called a quarter. Now we have one, two, three, four. We have four pieces. And this is one out of the four pieces. One out of the four pieces is called a quarter. Quarter of a pizza. We divided the pizza first in half and then again into quarters. Thanks for helping me. Hello, hello. Are you working at this produce yeah. stand? Is this new? Yeah. What do you have at this produce stand? I have old stuff. What do you need a recipe for? Okay, I'll grab a basket and I'm gonna make a pizza. Okay, okay, I need one tomato. <laughs> tomato. Thank you. I also need one garlic. And three mushrooms. Uh, one, two, three. Thank you. Now, do you have any cheese? Yeah. What kind of cheese? The little whole Whoa, that's a big, I'll take a big one. I want to make a really big pizza. Okay, now, you know what else I needed? What? I needed an eggplant. <laughs> Thank you so much. And do you have any pumpkins? I do, I do. I would love a pumpkin, please. It's a tiny one. Oh, that's a great one. Oh, I would love to. 
And, oh, you know what else I needed? What? One lemon. Lemon. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Wow, I think I have everything I need. Yeah. Hey, today we're making pizzas. Here's another easy snack you could do at home. We're gonna make our own pizza and we're gonna use a tortilla, some sauce, and some cheese. And then if you want to use extra toppings, you can, but if you just wanna make a little cheese pizza, this is the easiest way to do it. So I have our tortillas. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. You wanna try opening it? With you. I think we can do it, right? Let's try again. Whoa, we did it! Because we can do hard things. All right, I'm gonna scoop a little sauce. You wanna spread it? Yeah. Go ahead. I wanna spread it all around. Spread it all around. Spread it all around. We're making pizza. What's the pizza song? It's pizza party. Pizza, pizza party. That's right. Spread, spread, spread. Yeah. And then when you're done spreading, you can sprinkle your cheese all on top. Sprinkle. Sprinkle sauce. Yeah. Spread it all around. I'm not done with mine. Go ahead. Sprinkle all that cheese. I'll borrow some cheese, too. I'm going to spread it all around. I'm going to add some mushrooms to mine. Uh, I'm going to add some mushrooms to mine. Go ahead. There's also tomato, spinach, onion. So whatever you'd like. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Maybe. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Spinach. And maybe a little onion. That's gonna be so good. And with these, if you have a toaster oven, you can put these in there for a few minutes or put them in your regular oven for a few minutes and just a few minutes and they'll be cooked. You ready to put them in? Yeah. That looks really good. Okay, what do you think? Ready? Yeah. Let's put it in. I'll eat this one. Cheers. I love cooking with you. We might need to get the pizza slicer out. I would need to hold this little mail, put cheese on the bat. Ooh. Yeah. Like a little tomato cheese salad, tomato cheese sandwich. I love it. I put cheese here. Dip, dip, dip it, cheese. You see this? Yeah. Look at this. This is mine or yours? You know, they both look really good. Is this mine? I think so, with all that cheesy goodness. Yeah. Let's see. Do you want to use a pizza cutter? Yeah. And then be really careful to that's right, we'll do it together because this one's sharp. You want to hold it? Yeah. And I'll kind of just guide you through it. Whoa, how about you split it in half? How many halves do you have? Two. You have two halves. Can I show you something cool? Yeah. You know how we split it in half? If we split it one more the other way, half of a half is called a quarter. And now you have four quarters. One, two. <laughs> no, one, two, three, four. That's right. It might be a little warm, so we'll wait for it to cool off. And then we're ready to enjoy it. Which slice are you going to have? This slice. Go ahead. You can pick it up. Come in, we'll do it. Here. Here's some smaller bites for you, Goose. Good? Yeah. Yeah, you made this. Thank you for making snacks with us. Thanks for making snacks with us. Yeah, let's make them more. <laughs> Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own grocery bag that you can take to a grocery store or the farmer's market and you just need a little bag, and then you can do stickers or cut these out, and then decorate your bag with fruits and vegetables. Let's see, we'll use a watermelon, a carrot, an avocado, and how about a tomato, a plum, and a 
banana. That's gonna be very cute. Let's make it together. You can use stickers, like I said, or get these little stickies that you can put onto your fruit and vegetables and then stick it on to your bag. Here we go. Let's add a few more. Now you, can, you have your own grocery bag that you can take to the store with you and you can decorate it however you like. I hope you have fun. I'm the princess. Yeah. Here, and then with this part. Can we get it? There you go, and you can stick it to the bag. Very cute. And then I own your egg. Okay. Can we eat over here? I didn't put an egg on there, but I think yours would be very cute with an egg. Would you like another sticky? Yeah. Here you go. Drink. Cute. You what know, else? You just do it. Okay, how about a broccoli? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Wow, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for playing with me and learning with me. I love playing with you, and I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to subscribe and you can always search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mwah! Bye bye. Bye bye. me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today we're going to take a trip to the grocery store and get everything from A to Z. Apples to zucchinis. But I'm really going to need your help because I've got a big list and lots of stuff to get. Will you help me find the items I need? All right. First, let's go driving to the store. We'll get in our car, buckle up so we're nice and safe, and we'll go driving, driving to the store. Driving, driving fast and slow. Driving, driving to the store. Driving, driving, here we go. Driving, driving fast and slow. Now we're at the grocery store, and first, I got a cart and my friend Teddy Bear is gonna help us go shopping. Put you in the cart and we'll go looking for all the stuff that we need. First thing on my list is A for apples. A for apples. Hmm, do you see any apples? Hmm, where? Right there, there's some apples. A for apples. Let's get them and put them in our cart. Next on my list is the letter B for b b b bananas. Let's go find some bananas. Next thing on my list are bananas, and I need two bananas. Do you see a bunch with Two bananas? Hmm. This one has one banana. Oh, right here there's one, two. Two bananas. We'll get those. Thank you for helping me. Next thing on my list is carrots for the letter C. C makes the k sound, k, k, carrots. Do you see any carrots? Hmm, where are the carrots? Can you point to the carrots? Hmm, right there, pointing to the carrots. Thank you for helping me. Mm, I love carrots. Do you know who else loves carrots? 
Bunnies, they love hopping around and eating carrots. Let's play with some bunnies and carrots. I've got some bunnies who need our help. We have one bunny, two bunnies, three bunnies. And they wanna put their carrots in and then they're gonna eat them. Let's see how many carrots we've got. One carrot in, two carrots in, three carrots in, four carrots in, five carrots, five carrots in. Somebody say, oh wow, thank you, thank you for helping us. We're gonna eat them up. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, we love our carrots and are ready to play. Let's play with the bunnies. Whoa, this one hopped. I was holding him and hopped. Whoa, bunny! Oh, they're just hopping around. Let's catch our bunnies and help them go down the slide. Let's help our bunnies go down the slide. This bunny goes hop, hop, hop in. This bunny goes hop, hop, hop in. Now our third bunny goes hop, hop, hop in. They're all kind of stuck on the slide. Let's put the ball down and see if it'll help them slide down. Putting the ball in. Ooh. Wow! And they went in. Should we do it again? Yeah. Let's do it again. I'm gonna open this up. One bunny hopped out. <gasps> bunnies hopped out. Wasn't there three bunnies? Hmm. Peekaboo! Where's the third bunny? <gasps> peekaboo! Oh wow, this bunny's playing peekaboo. Come on bunny, we'll help you go down the slide. And I'll grab our ball too. All right bunnies, this bunny's going hop, hop, hop in. Hop, hop, hop in. Hop, 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 in. Let's put our ball down. We'll help him go down. One, two, three. Ooh. In, 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 we did it. Great job, bunnies, and great job, you. Yeah. Like this, show me, show me. Yeah. In, how many more bunny Ball. Whoa, 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 in there. Do you want to help the other bunnies? Bunny. Help the bunnies, you want to take him out? Next thing on my list is the letter D for d, d diapers. And I'm looking for diapers in a blue pack. Do you see any diapers that have blue on them? Hmm, those have pink, purple, Where's the blue? At the bottom? That's all right. Those are the blue diapers. Thank you for helping me. Let's grab our diapers for the letter D. Next thing on my list is E that makes the E sound for E, E, eggs. Do you see any eggs? Hmm, up there, I'm gonna reach for them. Reaching for the eggs, reach. Oh no, I dropped the eggs. I was reaching, reaching up high, and I dropped them. Oh no. Well, that's all right, we'll help clean up. Oopsie daisies. Picking up the eggs, and I'll put them in our cart. Here we go. All right, let's keep going and looking for more stuff. Next thing on my list is the letter F. F, 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 F makes the F sound for fish. Do you see any fish? Hmm, do you see it? Where? 
Oh yeah, right there. Thank you. I'll go grab the fish that starts with the letter F. Next letter on my list is the letter G for grapes. Do you see any grapes? Hmm. Oh yeah, right there. Here is grapes. These are purple grapes. They look like little circles. Let's draw some grapes together. Let's draw some grapes together. We'll do purple circles. Here's a circle. Here's a circle, another circle, more circles. Ooh, here's some grapes. Mmm, yummy, yummy grapes. Nom, 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 Mmm, grapes are yummy. Thank you for drawing with me. Next letter on my list is the letter H. H makes the ha, ha, ha sound for hummus. Hmm. Hummus usually comes in a circle container that has a letter H on it. Do you see any hummus? Hmm. Well, here's a circle with the letter H. That's hummus. Let's put it in. Here we go, hummus. Next letter on my list is the letter I for ice cream. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream is yummy. Let's find some ice cream. Hmm. Do you see it? Where? What? 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 Oh, right there! I didn't even see it and it was right there. Thank you for helping me. Let's put it in and let's count some ice cream cones together. Will you help me count these ice cream cones? One ice cream cone, two ice cream cones, three ice cream cones, four ice cream cones, five ice cream cones, five ice cream cones. Thank you for helping me. Next thing on my list is the letter J for juice box. There's different kinds of juice. There's apple juice, orange juice, tomato juice, fruit juice or vegetable juice, all sorts of different juice. I'm looking for some orange juice. Do you see any orange juice? Hmm. Right there. Let's put it in our cart and let's keep shopping. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next thing on my list is the letter K. K makes the k, k, k sound for ketchup. Mm, ketchup's yummy and made out of tomatoes. Now, do you see any ketchup? Sometimes I open my fridge and I'm looking, looking for ketchup and I can't find it. So I'm so glad that you're here to help me find ketchup today. Let's look for ketchup. Hmm. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, thank you so much. Let's put it in. Next thing on our list is the letter L for lemon. Lemons are yellow, and when you bite into them, they get sour. Can you do a sour face? Sour. Let's find a lemon, and I'm looking for three lemons. Hmm. Do you see three lemons? Let's look. Hmm. Here is one, one lemon, and I need two more. Hmm, here's another one. Now I've got two lemons. I need one more. Hmm. There's a third lemon. Now we've got all three lemons. Thank you for helping me. Next thing on my list is the letter M. 
M for mushroom. Mm, mushrooms are yummy. Do you see any mushrooms up here? Hmm. That's an onion. That's not a mushroom. Pfft, that's silly. I'm looking for a mushroom. Here's a mushroom. Let's put it in mushroom in the card. Here we go. Let's keep shopping. Grab a beer, put it in your card, girl. Hmm, do you see any bananas? Oh, put an egg in. Oh, yeah. Hmm, do you see a mushroom? All right, put it in. Hmm, what other vegetables do you see? Oh, an orange, put it in. What else? Oh, yeah, your card's looking good. Put strawberry in any green peppers. Oh, yeah, put them in. What? Strawberry. <laughs> Next letter on my list is the letter N. N makes the N, N sound. N for nuts. There's different kinds of nuts. There's peanuts, cashews, almonds, walnuts. Oh, there are so many different nuts, and they're really good for you. Now, I'm looking for the nuts. Sometimes they come in a box or a bag or a jar. Do you see a jar of nuts? Hmm. Right there. Wow, thank you so much for helping me. Let's grab our nuts and keep on shopping. Next thing on my list is the letter O for orange. Will you help me find some oranges? All right, let's take a look. I'm looking for an orange, and it's the color, oh, pff, orange, that's pretty silly. Hmm, do you see an orange? Oh yeah, right here. Let's grab it, we'll put it in our cart, and did you know that you can take orange, and if you squeeze it out, you can get orange juice. Let's squeeze some oranges together to make orange juice. To make orange juice, you need an orange and a cup. This isn't a real orange, so we'll pretend. We would squeeze it in, squeeze it in. And then drink it up. Mmm, yummy orange juice. Let's squeeze it in, squeeze it in. And drink Mmm, yummy. Next on my list is the letter P for p -p potatoes. Potatoes are vegetables and mm -mm, I love my vegetables. I like to sing the song. I like to eat my vegetables. I eat them every day. I like to eat my vegetables and then I go and play. Yay, let's sing that again. I like to eat my vegetables. I eat them every day. I like to eat my vegetables and then I go and play. Wow, how silly. Oh, now let's find potatoes. I almost forgot. Where is the potatoes? Hmm. There, there's a potato. Thank you for helping me find it. Boopity 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 boop. Next letter on my list is the letter Q for Q-tips. Q-tips are little sticks with cotton on the end of them. You can use them for cleaning small areas. Q-tips. Do you see Q-tips? Hmm, there's some Q-tips right there. We'll put them in our cart. Thank you. Next letter on my list is the letter R for raisins. Mmm, raisins are a yummy snack. Sometimes they come in a box, sometimes they come in a packet, but they're yummy, yummy. Do you see any raisins? Hmm. Right there, there's some raisins. Let's put them in. 
Oh, do you eat your vegetables? Your vegetables, your vegetables. Do you eat your vegetables each and every day? Yes, we eat our vegetables, our vegetables, our vegetables. Oh, yes, we eat our vegetables each and every day. Next letter on my list is the letter S for salt. Salt, we put it in our cooking or on top of our food to make things salty. You kind of sprinkle it on. Hmm, do you see any salt? Hmm, here's some salt. Let's put it in. Here we go, salt. Next thing on my list is the letter T for tacos. Let's find some tacos. Hmm, do you see any tacos? Oh yeah, right there. T for tacos. Let's put it in, in tacos. The next thing on our list is the letter U for a, a upside down cake. That's a cake that's flipped upside down when they make it. Hmm, do you see an a, a upside down cake? Oh yeah, right there. We'll put it in our cart. Come on, cake. Vegetables are good for me, E-I-E-I-O. And so I eat them happily, E-I-E-I-O. With a carrot here and a carrot there. Here, carrot, there, carrot, everywhere, carrot, carrot. Vegetables are good for me, E-I-E-I-O. Next thing on my list is letter V for vinegar. We use vinegar for cooking and sometimes for cleaning. It comes in a bottle. Do you see a bottle of vinegar? Bottle of vinegar. Oh, here's a bottle. That's the vinegar bottle. We'll put it in V for vinegar. The next thing on my list is the letter W for wa wa waffles. Mmm, waffles are yummy, yummy. They're great to eat in the morning. Hmm. Do you see wa wa waffles? Hmm. Right there. There is waffles. Thank you for helping me. Come on, waffles. Next thing on my list is the letter X, which you can find at the end of the word box. And I'm looking for a box of crackers. Do you see a box of crackers? Hmm. Right there, there's a box. Thank you, we'll put it in our cart. on our list is the letter Y for y y yogurt. Mm, yogurt is yummy. You can put different berries in it. Eat it up. Nom, 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 nom. Now, do you see any yogurt? Hmm. Right there. We'll put it in. Come on, yogurt. on my list is the letter Z for zucchini. Do you see any zucchini? Hmm. Hmm. There's tomato. That's not a zucchini. Oh, there's a zucchini right there. We'll put it in. Here we go, zucchini. Oh, wow. We got so many things. Thank you so much for helping me at the grocery store and find so many items. Now we can go home and cut them up and maybe eat some vegetables. We'll make sure to get in our car safely, buckle up, and we'll drive home safe. Come on. All right. I was hungry for some vegetables, so I thought we can cut this carrot and cook it up together. We're gonna put it on a cutting board. I'm gonna hold it and go. Cut! 
Whoa, it like rolled off. Whoa, let's do it again. Rubber carrot. Hmm. And we'll cut. All right. I'll cut some more and I'll put it in my bowl. Cut, 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 cut. got a bowl of carrots and peas and I really love eating vegetables and I like singing my vegetable song I like to eat my vegetables I eat them every day I like to eat my vegetables and then I go and play let's eat some vegetables together and then we'll go and play mmm 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 yummy Chicken loves the bell pepper, huh? Oh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. big, big, big chicken. Do you see a carrot? Oh, yeah, put it in. I was looking for some watermelon. Oh, good, fine. And it also needed an orange. Have you seen an orange? All right. Circles and you draw grapes. Good circles. Little circles. Ooh, great circle, honey. Those are great looking grapes. Easy, great job. Wow. Wow, this was so fun. Thank you so much for going to the grocery store, helping me find all those items and helping me cut them and eat them up. You're a really great friend and I'm really proud of you and I love playing with you. Thank you for helping me with all the vegetables. Eat them up, now we can play some more. I can't wait to play with you again. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today we're playing with the juice stand. I've got some fruits, vegetables, juices. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to go over some colors, some counting, make some juices, do some pouring. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited to play with you. Come on! Take a look at what we've got. I have a watermelon, one watermelon. I've got lemons, one, two, two lemons. Oh look, they're the color yellow, just like my shirt. Yellow, two yellow lemons. Ooh, do you know what these are? These are apples. There are green apples and red apples. These are green apples. And we have one, two, and three. Three apples. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, banana. This banana is yellow. There's more bananas. Let's count them. One, two, three, and four. Four bananas. Ooh, and here are some oranges. One orange, two oranges, three oranges, four oranges, five oranges, five oranges. Thank you for helping me count. Something we can do is cut some oranges and then squeeze them. That's how we get orange juice. Let's do it. Let's make some orange juice. To make orange juice, we'll have to cut an orange. To cut an orange, you'll need a knife, and you can ask your grown-up for help. 
I'm gonna go cut carefully, carefully. I did one cut and it split my orange in half. I have one half, two halves. Two halves of an orange make one whole orange, but I cut it in half. Now, let's see. Ooh, I need a cup. Here's one cup. I'll put it here. This is gonna help me squeeze the juice. I'll put the orange in. I'll put the skin side of the orange upward. Put it in. Now, I'm gonna squeeze, ready? Squeeze. Do you see the juice coming out? And pour. Here's a little bit of orange juice. To sign orange, we go like this. Orange juice. Orange juice. Let's squeeze the other half. I'll open this, take this out, and I'll put another one in. And I'm gonna squeeze again. Oh, wow. Look at all of that juice. That's gonna be really yummy. I'm gonna open, take the orange out. Oh, and we'll need to cut some more oranges. Here's another orange. I'll place it down. Cut. Look at this, I've got Two halves of an orange again. And let's see, what was the next step? All right, to squeeze it, I'll open this up, put the orange in, close it, squeeze, squeeze. Whoa, it kind of sprayed me. That was silly. Whoa, it did it again. Hey, orange juice, spray much? <laughs> That's silly. Silly orange juice. All right, take this one out. Now I'll put this one back in. Squeeze, squeeze. All right, open it up, take it out. Close this and I'll put it to the side. Let's drink some orange juice. To sign drink, we go like this, drink. Like you're pretending you're drinking a cup. Drink, let's drink. Cheers. Oh, wow. That was very delicious. That was very yummy orange juice. Let's play with our juice stand some more. This is orange juice and you can pour it in this cup. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll help you lift it up. Right, this one's a little tricky. You see how the little part goes in? There you go. Yeah, you can. You can also pour it in this cup. I am going get that. I made some blueberry juice. Do you want to pour it in the other cup? I'll open it up for you. There you go. I'll move this one out of the way. Can this one pour? Good pouring. Try it out, my friend. Let me try it again. Sure. I mean, I want to be sure you don't know. It does look like grapefruit juice. Hey, want to do another activity? Yeah. Okay, here's your cup. Here's your squeezer. And here's some oranges to squeeze into it. I'll put it right next to you. Here you go. And here's your squeezer. I'm going to grab it this out of the way for you. All right, girl, let me see how you squeeze that. There you go. Ready? I'll set the cup back for you. Here you go. Ready? 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 Yeah, you are. There you go. You want to squeeze one more? I like it. <laughs> yeah, good. Ready? Set. In. Here you go, friend. 
I'll close your hands for you. There you go. Let me know if you need help. You need help. You need help? I'd love to help you. I'll set moves down. And I'm gonna grab this from this side to help you. Here, let me grab it really quick. Hello. Are we ready? Squeeze. Orange juice together. That's right, we're squeezing orange juice together. Whoa, whoa, did that spray on you? It sprayed on me too. Hey, orange juice, you spray much? <laughs> orange juice. Let me get you another. Sorry, it sprayed you like that. Was that surprising? Surprising for me. It was surprising for you when the juice got you like that? Here's a fun activity you can do at home to practice some squeezing. It's also a great sensory activity. If you have a bin of pom-poms, they're fun to touch because they're so fuzzy, you can fill this up with water. I have this water container. I'm gonna turn this and it's gonna help the water pour out. Ready? You see the water pouring? That's really fun. You can also use this to store your juice or your lemonade. And you can use it to do fun pouring activities. Today we'll use it to fill up our bin. Fill it up. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top with water. Oh, now my pom-poms are heavier because they're full of water. We'll have to squeeze it out. And I'll turn it to turn it off. Turn it up. Here we go. Ooh, you see all of our pom-poms? Now you can take the squeezer, put your pom-poms in, and then Fun! Let's do it again. Pick up some pom poms, load them in, and then ready, put this down and squeeze. How fun! Let's do it again. Put more pom poms in. Ooh, we got many. Let's do it again. Put pom poms in, close, and squeeze. All right. Look at this. These pom poms are in water. Pom poms, what are you doing in water? Right? Come over here. Check this. You can put them in here. Oh, piece of orange. Let's just put them in and close it. And then squeeze, girl. Do you squeeze that water out like that? Well, let's count these bananas together. We have one banana, two bananas, three bananas, four bananas, five bananas, five bananas. Let's see, I have one banana, Plus another banana, that makes two bananas. One banana plus another banana is two bananas. Now I have one, two bananas here. Two bananas plus one more banana makes three. Three bananas. Let's see how many bananas we have. One, two, three. Three bananas. Plus one more banana. Three plus one is four. We have one, two, three, four bananas. All right, now we have one. Two, three, four. Four bananas. Plus one more banana. That makes total of five bananas. One, two, three, four, five. 
five bananas. Thank you for counting with me. Oh, hey there, Moose. Moose says hello. Honk, honk. Oh, wow, look, Goose is here too. Goose and Moose. Moose and Goose. Those rhyme. Hello, I'm a goose, and I like to say Hong Kong. Goose, g g goose. Oh, goose starts on the letter G. G g goose. And I'm a moose, m m moose. I start on the letter M. M m moose. Very nice to meet you, moose and goose. Oh, moose and goose says we would like some juice. Sure, Moose and Goose, I'd love to pour you some juice. I'll put you right here and I'll get a cup. Now, what color juice would you like? Moose says, hmm, I'd like some blue juice. Oh yeah, I'd like that too. Okay, here we go. I'll open this bottle with blue juice. I wonder what makes blue juice? Maybe blueberries? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna tilt the bottle. I'm tilting it, tilting it, and I'm gonna pour, gently, gently pour, pour, pour. You see the juice filling up the cup? Here you go. Oh, wow, look at all of this juice. Honk, honk, I'd love some lemon in it. Me too, says Moose. Sure, ready? We'll pretend to squeeze it in. Squeeze. Now it's blueberry and lemon juice. Drink, drink. Oh yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Thank you, that was very yummy. We filled this cup up. Goose says, can I have another cup? But I only filled halfway. Oh sure, Goose, let's do it. I'll grab another cup. Halfway, so that means I'll have to fill up the cup only halfway. When we look at containers and how we fill them up, however big the container is, that's called capacity. How much we can fill it up. And however much of the liquid we have or the juice, that's the volume. I'll show you. This cup, Fill it up all the way, ready? All the way. Oh, look at that. The volume of our juice is all the way to the top of the capacity of the cup. Now let's try this red juice for goose and we'll make the volume of it only halfway of the capacity of the cup. Open it up. I'm gonna pour gently, gently, careful, careful, pour, pour, pour. It's filling up the cup. And this looks about halfway till it's all the way full. Here you go, Goose. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna drink it up. Moose and Goose love their juice. Oh. That's a great rhyme. Let's do some more animal rhymes together. Let's do some animal rhymes together. Hmm, how about a bunny who was very funny laying on his tummy when it was very sunny looking for some honey. When he saw a bear combing his hair in a rocking chair, wearing his underwear, looking here and there, looking everywhere, when he saw a turtle named Myrtle, who jumped over a hurdle and met his bunny, who was very funny, laying in his tummy when it was very sunny, looking for some honey. Wow, that's a lot of rhymes. Let's do another one. Okay, how about a piggy on a slide playing outside? That's a good one. A piggy on the slide playing outside. Do you like to play on the slide? 
Me too. Oh, it's so fun. You climb up, 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 and then slide down. What about a chicken in a tree counting one, two, three? That's silly. A chicken in a tree counting one, two, three. Great job counting, chicken. How about a butterfly flying up high in the sky? A butterfly flying up high in the sky. That's a great rhyme. How about a monkey and a donkey looking, looking for a house key? A monkey and a donkey looking for a house key. That's silly. Hmm, how about a rhino with a horn eating yellow corn. A rhino with a horn eating yellow corn. That's silly. I was gonna pour some of our juice from the cup back in the bottle, but I'm thinking maybe it might be a little tough. Maybe it might be a little hard to pour it in because the cup is so large or the diameter of the cup is very large compared to the diameter of the hole in the bottle. If you're pouring from something with a small diameter, that's the distance across. I'll show you. When we look at a circle like the cup, the distance between this end and the other side is called diameter. And the bigger diameter, the bigger something is. These bottles have a small diameter. When we pour from a small diameter into a big one, it's kind of easy because it has so much room. We pour it in and it's no worries. But when we're trying to pour something from a large diameter into a small one, it can be kind of tricky to fit it all in. Hmm, ooh, something I can do is get a funnel. This is a funnel. It has a large diameter here and a small one to fit into a small bottle or a cup. I'll put it here and let's see if we can pour. Ready, pour. Do you see it filling up? Using a funnel makes it a little more easier for us to use something with a large diameter to pour it into a smaller diameter opening. But we can do it, huh? Because we can do hard things. And we'll fill it back up. All right, look at that, we did it. I'm so proud of us, I'm really proud of you, and I'm proud of me. Because at first we thought, hmm, maybe this is tough. Maybe it's hard to do it. But then we worked at it, we figured it out, and we did it together. Great job. Okay, teach me how you do it. Jimmy, 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 pour it in. 
Oh, wow. Good work. You can also pour it in this one with the funnel. Oh, Pacey, are you going to pour it back like that? Oh, great work! I loved how you did that. Dad, grab the horn. Jim, take the fun out. Then I made some juice. Oh, fine. How do you make juice? Let's draw some circle. Here's a small circle, a medium sized circle, and let's do one really big circle. A diameter is the distance from this side to this side. This is the distance of the circle all the way across called diameter. This distance is smaller than this distance and this distance, or the diameter, is smaller than this distance. This diameter of a circle is bigger, and this diameter of a circle is smaller. That's how you can tell a small circle from a big circle, is how big it is across. Whoa, whoa, chicken. Oh, wild chickens here. Oh, 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 I'd like some juice too. Sure, chicken, what kind of juice would you like? Oh, I would like some watermelon juice. All right, let's do it. We'll get a cup and we'll pretend to squeeze this watermelon in. Ready? Squeeze. Wow, we're very strong. And I'll pour some of this red juice as our watermelon juice. Chicken says, oh, will you please fill it halfway? Sure, chicken, I'll fill it halfway to the half of the cup. There you go. And so I don't spill it. I'll pick it up with two hands. Make sure that the opening is facing up to the top up to the ceiling and I'll carry it carefully carefully gently gently carrying it over to the chicken here you go chicken oh bu 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 wow says chicken oh this is great juice thank you for making it for me you're very welcome drink up oh wow that's very yummy Thank you, Paisley. Oh, Thank you so much. I love that you love them. I got one more if you want to try it. Yeah, all right. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this down. And look, we've got different containers. This one's got your funnel. You can pour your blueberry juice in there. Orange juice. Or orange juice. Go ahead, honey. Sure, here you go. Ready? Pour it in. Good pouring. There you go. And now you can use this cup and you can pour it in this container no, or in this no. container. No. Oops. This. Right. Okay. Very smart. Thank you. I'll close Mama, it up. Mama, what did you say? I had the lid on backwards. How's your orange juice? You can also pour it in this container. Or in there. Or in there. Here we go, funnel. Yeah, I can take it now. Chicken says, oh, I'd love to learn more about volume and capacity. I don't know if I got it all. I'd love to tell you more about it, chicken. Thank you for asking such great questions. Let's see if we can learn more about the volume and capacity. Here are some different containers. The volume is how much space the juice takes up in the cup. And it might look different, huh? Let's try it with this cup. First, we'll fill it up 
all the way to the top. Oh, you know what? This has a small diameter. Maybe I should use a funnel. Let's see. Here's my funnel. I'll put it in and we'll pour all the way to the top. Whoa, great pouring. I'll take the funnel out and look, the volume of this juice is all the way to the top of this container. It fills up all of its capacity. Now let's try pouring it in this cup and see what happens. Let's see, the volume or how much space the juice takes up is gonna be the same because we're not pouring any juice out. Let's pour it in this cup. Look at that. When it was in this container, it was all the way up to the top, the container's full capacity. But in this container, because it's different, it only fills it up to that much. The volume of the juice hasn't changed, but the amount of capacity takes up is different. Let's see what it looks like in this cup. Ready? here it only takes this much. Let's see how many more of these cups it would take up to fill this one. Let's see, where's our funnel? Put it in. Ooh. Now let's pour it in here. Ready? Oh, wow. Now it's all the way to the two. One, two. So far it's taken two of these containers to fill up up to the two of this cup. Let's see, maybe we can pour this in here and see how much of the capacity it takes. Pouring it in, pour, pour, pour. Look at that, it filled it up over to the two. How fun. Oh, um, check this out. Moose and Goose say, Paisley, do you have any juice? Paisley has some bottles and cups and bottles. Oh, oh, send it up. Mommy made up. I had some cups already to juice and blueberry juice. Oh, we love some of that juice, Paisley. Moose and Goose say, thank you, thank yeah, yeah. you. You're welcome, Moose and Goose. You can I more and more cups. Maybe here, I'm in Jenny pouring. Oh, you know what I'll get you? How about we put a funnel in here? You see how this cup opening, this is called the diameter from this side to this side. This is a big diameter, this is a tiny diameter. Sometimes it's harder to pour from bigger holes to the little ones. But if you put in a funnel, I think you'll get it in there. I'll tip it for you. Over. Paisley, that's wonderful. Good job. You did it. Well, in your skin. Oh, wow, Paisley, that's going to be very yummy. In here. Mixing juices like that? Mixing juice. And more, I must put orange in the, the blueberry juice. You put some orange juice in the blueberry juice? Yeah. Paisley, can I try some? That sounds very yummy. Yeah. You want to pour, pour me some? Wow, Paisley, thank you, thank you. Now, will you show me and teach me how you pour? When we hard to open it up. It is hard to open, but you know what? We can do hard things, right? We can do hard things together. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, hey there, Cup, you spilling. Spill much cup, Cup. Mommy, pour some this into the orange juice made with the purple and orange. That can be very yummy together. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own kitchen. If you grab a bin and ask your grown up for help, we're gonna turn this lid of the bin into a stove top and make this a portable kitchen. So you can take it anywhere, even in the car. If you go visit family or friends, you can always grab it along so you can play anywhere you go. Let's draw the stove top. We'll need four circles. Here is one, 
two, three, four circles. That's gonna be the inside. Now we'll do larger circles. You see how these ones are small and have small diameter from this side to this side? Let's do some larger circles over them. A bigger circle around. Two, three, four. And that's gonna be our heating plates. Sometimes they have these lines around them, huh? Flat lines. All right, now we need the little knobs to turn it on. We can put them on the side, or I'll put ours in the middle because we have a little more space. And let's do four little knobs. We'll do another set of circles. One, two, three, four. Usually they have a little knob right here. How we turn them. Now you have a little stove top and you can pretend to turn it on to cook. Inside, I packed some kitchen stuff so we can make some soup. I've got cups, some pans, some ladles, and fruits and vegetables. Let's see, I'll grab a cup and a pan and let's make, hmm, ooh, how about a soup? We'll use a carrot, potato, and an onion. And, all right, ooh, and I need this to stir. Here we go. Let's put it on our stovetop to cook. Turn it on. Cook, 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 cook. And I'll need some water. Let's open this up. I'll pour it in my soup to cook. Pour. Oh, this is gonna be very yummy soup. Stir, stir. Stir, stir. Oh, wow. I'll try a little piece. Get the carrot out. Oh, wow, great soup. Thank you for helping me cook and build this little travel kitchen. Thank you for playing with me little kitchen and this is your stove top to cook and you can make a soup let's see what kind of vegetables or fruits you want to put in your soup on and pretend to turn it on it's ready let's eat it up hop 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 hi bunny how are you bunny says Hello, hello, friend. Hi, bunny. B b bunny. Bunny starts on the letter b b b. Bunny says, "Oh, I love some carrot juice." Oh, bunny, we can do that for you. Let's grab a cup. Putting cup down. And bunny, how many carrots would you like in your juice? Hmm, I would like. Three carrots. Okay, here is one carrot. Squish. Two carrots. Squish. Three carrots. Squeeze. And we'll pour this juice in as our carrot juice for you, bunny. All right, let's see. I'm gonna tilt it, tilt it, tilt it. Carefully pour it in. Here you go. I'll carry gently, gently, and carefully, carefully. Carry, oh, let me move these carrots out of the way. Moving the carrots. Here we go. Carrying it gently, gently with two hands for my bunny friend. Here you go, bunny. Bunny says, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Bunny. Here you go. Make sure to pick it up with two hands so you don't spill any. All right, picking it up with two hands. 
Ching, 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 ching. Oh, wow, says the bunny. That was very good. Thank you. You're very welcome. If you want to build a juice stand like this one, you can ask your grown-up for help. Glue together some wood crates, screw on some wood pieces here and there, and you've got it. On top, you can put the name. You can put your name, you can call it your lemonade stand, your juice stand, your farmer's market stand, or whatever you'd like. And you can pour in it, play in it, and use it as your own kitchen if you'd like. I hope you have fun. Wow, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for helping me and playing with me. We learned all about volume and capacity. We learned about diameter. We learned about pouring, colors, counting, and some letters. Thank you so much for playing with me and learning with me. I really appreciate it, and I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're gonna help our friend Baby with her bedtime routine. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna sing some songs, read a book, take a bath. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Are you excited? Me too, come on. bedtime routine so we can follow along to see what we need to do and if you ask your grown-up for help you can print one out and put tape on it so you can use a marker to mark it off as you go or you can also cut it and fold them in as you get each task complete all right let's see what we need to do first First thing on our bedtime routine is tidy our toys. Let's go see what Baby's up to. Come on! Here's our friend Baby. Baby, hello. Baby's waving, hello. Hello, Baby. What are you up to? Baby says, I'm just playing with my toys. Drive, 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 drive. Oh. Playing is so much fun, and I love your little minivan that drives, baby. Baby, I was looking at our bedtime routine, and here it says we have to tidy our toys. Are you ready to put your toys away? Baby says, I still wanna play. I understand, baby. Sometimes it's hard to just stop playing when you're right in the middle of it. I understand that. Let's think of some things we can do. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at our bedtime routine. On our bedtime routine, it says we have to tidy our toys and then we can take a bath. So let's see. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? How about this? We'll tidy our toys and then we can take some of our toys in the bath with us and then we can continue playing there. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good. I like that. You know what we can do? 
We'll put away all of our toys, that way it's all nice and clean, but we'll take this one with us to take a bath and we'll pretend that we're in an aquarium in our bath and we'll look at different sea animals and play with them and splash around. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds really fun. All right, well then let's clean up our toys. Clean up, clean up, everybody let's clean up. Clean up, clean up, put your things away. Clean up, clean up, everybody let's clean up. Clean up, clean up, put your things away. Look at that! Now everything is all clean and our toys are put away so we can play again tomorrow. But we still have this one toy that we can bring with us to the bath. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I am! All right, let's mark off that we tidy our toys on the bedtime routine. Great job getting it done! Here we go! We're all clean. Now we're ready to take a bath. Baby's gonna take a bath. Come on! Now we're ready to take a bath. Bath! All right, baby, I'll help you take your clothes off. Here we go. And your diaper off. Here we go. Into the bath. And we still have our toy. Here we go. And we can pretend we're at the aquarium. Here comes a stingray. You can pet the stingray gently. Pet, pet, pet. Splash, splash. And here's an octopus. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Do you want to squiggle like an octopus together? We get our arms out like we're an octopus. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. And here comes a shark. Ooh, swimming, swimming, swimming. All right, and we can sing Baby Shark together. Ready? Baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark Mama shark to do to do to do mama shark to do to do to do mama shark to do to do to do mama shark Daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark Grandma shark do 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 Grandma shark do 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 Grandma shark do 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 Grandpa shark Grandpa shark do 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 Grandpa shark do 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 Grandpa shark do 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 Grandpa shark Swim away do 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 Swim away do 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 Swim away do 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 Swim away Save at last, do 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 do. Save at last, do 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 do. Save at last, do 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 do. Save at last. Bye bye sharks, do 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 do. Bye bye sharks, do 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 do. Bye bye sharks, do 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 do. Bye bye sharks. All right, that was wonderful. Now let's wash up. This is the way we take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. This is the way we take a bath when we are taking a bath. Now wash up your hair. Let me wash up your hair. Wash, 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 wash. To rinse our hair, hmm, I'll need to pour some water over your head, baby. But you know what you can do? If you look up, the water will come dripping down and won't get into your eyes. How about this? Look up at the shark way up here. Right, and I'll pour the water to rinse your head. Here we go, rinse, 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 rinse. And this is the way we rinse our head, rinse our head, rinse our head. This is the way we rinse our head when we are taking a bath. All right, let's do some more splashing around, baby. And I'll rinse you off. Rinse, rinse. Rinse, rinse. Taking a bath can be so much fun because you can play with your toys or do bubble baths or do pouring, pretend you're at an aquarium. It's so fun and sing different songs. Here we go. All right, baby. 
I think we're ready to get dry. Let me grab a towel. Here's a towel. Here we go, baby. I'll help you dry up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow, baby. You're gonna be nice and dry. Here we go. And just like that, we got another thing done on our bedtime routine list. We took a bath. Let's see what's next. Next thing on our list is pajamas. Let's put on some pajamas. Let's help baby put on pajamas. All right, baby, here we go. First, I'll put this on. And your arms through. This is the way we put on pajamas. Put on pajamas, put on pajamas. This is the way we put on pajamas so we are ready for bed. All right. Now baby's all ready in the pajamas and I'll put on my pajamas too. Great job putting on your pajamas. Now that we have our pajamas on, let's see what the next thing is on our list. The next thing is to brush our teeth. Oh yay, I love brushing my teeth. Then I feel nice and clean in my mouth. Baby, would you like to brush with this toothbrush or this toothbrush? Baby says, oh, I'd like this one, please. All right. We'll put some toothpaste on. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth with me. Put some toothpaste on the brush. Brush your teeth with me. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth with me. Brush the back and brush the front. Brush your teeth with me. I'll brush too. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth with me. Brush and brush and brush and brush. Brush your teeth with me. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth with me. Brush the front and brush the back. Brush your teeth with me. And after we brush our teeth, we should rinse, where you sip a little bit of water, swish it all around, and then spit it out. Rinse, rinse, rinse your teeth, rinse your teeth with me. Drink some water, spit it out, rinse your teeth with me. Here you go. Rinse, rinse, rinse your teeth, rinse your teeth with me. Sip some water, spit it out, rinse your teeth with me. Great work! Wow, great job brushing your teeth! Let's see, we can mark that off. And the next thing on our list is to drink some water so we don't get thirsty through the night. Let's get some water. Water to drink. Let's drink some water. I'll drink some. All right, here you go, baby. All right. Great job drinking water. And next thing on our list we have to do is to go potty. Baby, do you, would you like to go potty? Hmm, I don't know. All right. How would you know if you need to go potty? Oh, great question, baby. Sometimes when we're about to go pee or poop, we feel a little feeling in our belly. Do you ever feel it right in your belly when you have to pee or poop? <gasps> yeah, I do. Well, that's how you know that you need to go potty. Sometimes when we're wearing our diapers, you just pee and poop whenever you want. But when you're learning to go potty, it's important to start recognizing that little feeling in your belly 
And then when you're about to pee or poop, you can tell your grown up that you're ready to go potty. Especially after you drink water, you might feel like you have to go pee. And it's important to go pee before bed. That way you can get good night's sleep. Baby, here's this potty you can go potty into. We'll pull your shorts down, and then you can wait, wait, wait till you're ready to pee. Pee, 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 pee. Good work. We'll wipe, 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 and pull our pants back up. Now we're all done. Great work. Now it's time to go potty. Let's help baby go potty. Climb on up, sit on down. Here we go. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Great work, baby. Thank you for helping us. Great job going potty. Next thing on our list is to read a book. Let's read a book. Once upon a time, in a cozy little nook, lived a darling bunny as cute as a picture book. With floppy ears and a fluffy cotton tail, her name was Paisley, and this is her bedtime tale. When the sun went down and stars filled the sky, Paisley hopped and twirled oh so high. Then the moon whispered softly with a gentle glow, it's time for little bunnies like you to go slow. Rubbing her eyes, yawn, she said, as Mama Bunny called, it's time for bed. She hopped into her jammies, snug and warm, ready to embrace the calm night's charm. In her room, filled with paints, toys, and moonbeams, Paisley searched for her favorite pals for her sweet dreams. She gathered her bedtime buddies all together, her teddy bear, her blanket, and a chicken with a feather. Underneath the stars, they gathered on her bed. With twinkling eyes, she listened as Mama Bunny said, Brush your teeth, my love, and wash your little face. It's time to settle down in this cozy, peaceful place. Paisley hopped into bed, all cozy and tight, as Mama Bunny tucked her in, saying, Good night. She read her stories of adventures and fun, of bunnies and meadows and rabbits on the run. As Mama sang a lullaby so sweet and low, Paisley's eyes grew heavy, ready to let go. She closed her eyes and cuddled, feeling so snug, drifting off to dreamland in a sleepy bunny hug. In her dreams, Paisley hopped through the night, leaping over rainbows shining ever so bright. She met friends along the way, deer and squirrels, exploring magical lands with giggles and twirls. When the morning sun peeked through the curtain so light, Paisley woke up feeling rested and bright. She stretched her little paws and hopped out of bed, ready to start a new day with adventures ahead. So remember, little bunnies, when the moon takes flight, it's time for slumber and to say good night. With bedtime bodies by your side oh so dear, dream of joy and laughter until dawn draws near. For every night is a chance to rest and renew. And tomorrow, my darlings, we'll be waiting for you. So close your eyes and snuggle up, my sweet bunny. Sleep tight, and I hope your dreams are as sweet as honey. That was a wonderful book. Thank you for reading with me. Great job reading a book. Before we lay our head to sleep, let's say all the things we're thankful for. I'm thankful for the flowers. I'm thankful for the trees. I'm thankful for the birds. I'm thankful for the bees. I'm thankful for the teachers. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for parents. I'm thankful for the pets. I'm thankful for our health. I'm thankful for the food. I'm thankful for the water that tastes oh so good. I'm really, really thankful. I'm thankful for you, for simply being you and all the things you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you for spending your time with me. I'm really proud of you. And the last thing on our list is sleep. So let's get in bed. Baby, I'll help you get in bed and tuck you in. Here we go. 
Baby, now that you're all tucked in bed, we can sing some songs, we can count some bunnies till we're nice and asleep. Let's count some bunnies jumping together. One bunny, two bunnies, three bunnies, four bunnies, five bunnies, six bunnies, seven bunnies, eight bunnies, nine bunnies, ten bunnies, eleven bunnies, twelve bunnies, thirteen bunnies, fourteen bunnies, Fifteen bunnies, sixteen bunnies, seventeen bunnies, eighteen bunnies, nineteen bunnies, twenty bunnies. Thank you for counting with me. Wow, this was so much 
much fun. Thank you so much for helping me with the baby's bedtime routine. Sometimes having a little routine makes it easier so we know what's up ahead and what we need to do to get ready for bed. It's so important to get our sleep and get well rested so we're ready to play again tomorrow. Thank you so much for helping me. You're a great friend and I love playing with you and I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure you search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.